Hi, I'm Sophia Huffman. I'm from Denison High School at Denison, Texas. And today for Exploring Support Services, I will be showing you what I learned from shadowing and interviewing our librarian here at Denison High School. I chose to do the librarian because I have a deep love and passion for reading myself and I wanted to learn more about the career that takes care of these books in libraries. So first we have to know what a librarian is. According to Merriam-Webster, a librarian is a specialist in the care or management of a library. A librarian introduces children and young adults to literature and other resources. Um, they help prepare students to efficiently use ideas and information. They're responsible for organizing and collecting library resources, such as journals, books, magazines, electronic documents, and other sorts of resources. They also support teachers through textbooks and additional reinforcements for their lesson plans. So, who is Ms. Rogers? Ms. Rogers is our librarian here at Denison High School, and she's actually the only librarian in our district that does her own textbooks. She promotes reading within Denison High School through her Schoology page, but due to COVID, she also has another job. She assigns at-home learning computers to students who wish to learn at home. So how does she prepare to be a librarian? She's not your typical librarian. She has an accounting degree instead of a library science degree. She was offered the position as a librarian after her husband took the head football coach position here at Denison High School. She became a certified teacher and she was taught by the former librarian. Um, she learned tips and tricks through the former librarian, but she mainly learned through her experience as a librarian. But a typical librarian gets a bachelor's degree a master's in library science and also meets the state's teaching requirements. So what has she learned about being a librarian? Well, she did not know how much detail went into being a librarian and it's more than books on a shelf. There's a lot of research you have to do before you buy books and decide which books you want to buy. It's very fast paced and Miss Rogers said, Keeping up with a library is harder and more difficult than you think. So what's her favorite part about being a librarian? She helps students find new books to read, but the main thing is interacting with students through their love of reading. I actually personally experienced this when I went to interview her and we got to start talking about our favorite books. Personally, I love Ernest Hemingway and I found out she also very much so loves Ernest Hemingway. And we just started to connect through our love of reading. It was really nice to know that there was somebody in the school that also shared such a deep love for reading and these beautiful stories that come from these books that, you know, are offered through the library. But she also loves shopping for new books. Can always, finding new stories is always a great thing when being a librarian. And she also loves students fall in love with new books and stories. So what is the most challenging aspect of her job? Miss Rogers is very much so a to-do list person. She loves having a list of things to do and crossing off each one, one by one. However, being a librarian, you can't do that. You have to multitask all the time, especially since you're supporting teachers. Being involved in different projects at the same time does not allow you to be able to scratch off one thing at a time. So that is definitely one of the biggest things that is difficult for her to do as a librarian. So what is her advice for someone considering a career as a librarian? Now, being a librarian, it's best to get a degree in library science in college. You also have to have a passion for literature. And if you have a passion for literature, it's a good job to have, especially since you get to share your love of reading and strengthen your own love and other people's love for reading. But you can't let the fast pacedness of being a librarian scare you. You have to just learn how to multitask. So how has COVID affected her job as a librarian? She must wipe down computers in the library. There's less student contact, which is one of her favorite things about being a librarian. You have to search books online since students are not allowed to be in the library. And like I said, there's not much student contact. 
You have to quarantine books for seven days after being used, and there's more technological responsibilities, such as checking in and out computers for online students and answering phone calls from parents and students who are having trouble with the online aspect of learning now due to COVID. So why did she decide to become a librarian? Her mother was a librarian, but in her childhood, her grandmother always took her to the library and she grew up in the library. So her love of reading came easy with the job of being a librarian, but she just loves working with students and creating connections. So what is one book she would recommend? She had a very difficult time answering this question, but here are some of the books that she does recommend, such as the classic To Kill a Mockingbird, The Midnight Library, the Nancy, Nancy Drew series, The Boxcar Children, and Miss Rogers is looking forward to listening to Dolly Parton's memoir on audiobooks. What did I learn about interviewing and shadowing a librarian? I learned that managing a library is much more difficult than one might think. She also has a whole textbook room that she has to organize as well. It's very fast paced and you have to support teachers and there's a lot of multitasking. There's a lot of research that goes into buying books and COVID has greatly affected librarians and their career. It's much more than the Dewey Decimal System. You get to create connections with students, encourage students to go on a journey with their own love of reading and you get to share a mutual love of reading as well as strengthen your own through sharing your experiences and your love with reading with students. Thank you for um, listening to me talk and I hope this shared an insight into being a librarian.